words Montreal music scene mean a lot of things to a lot of people. For some people, it's four guys up on a stage. For other people, it's a producer in a studio. And then for some people, it looks like this. That is sacred harp singing. It's a form of shape note singing, which we're gonna find out a little bit about from participant Megan Clinton, who is manager of the Montreal band, the Bar Brothers. She's also the organizer of the Chigawak Music Festival in Chigawak, Quebec. And she is a shape singer. Is that correct? Am I? Yep. That's right. That's you are a shape me. singer. Yes. Every Tuesday, go to Depenar. Yep. And, uh, so that's Depenar. Depenar Cafe. So what's shape note singing? Shape note singing is basically a uh, form of reading music uh, through looking at shapes. It was created for people who maybe couldn't read music. When I first heard about it, I thought this is an amazing thing. You get to go into a room and you get to create something that sounds pretty good by just yelling loudly. You might even not want to listen to it. <laughs> OK. <laughs> now, it came from many years ago. And it's popular, but it's not popular exclusively with religious people. No. I personally do it more for therapy and more for meeting new people. It's, it's a very calming place to be because there is no judgment. We're going to go with you. OK. And you're an old pro. <laughs> and I am somebody who has no musical ability whatsoever. <laughs> I have absolutely no I, musical I, ability. I, I've seen you spin a couple records. I you, can you, spin you. a record. But let me tell you something. In this day and age, you could, treat, you could teach a dog to spin a record, <laughs> and the dog would probably do a pretty good job. This is the Sacred Harp book. And this is Daryl Weiss, who is the organizer of the Sacred Harp event here at uh, Depener Cafe. Thank you very much for letting us in here today. It's a pleasure. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to be honest with you, uh, because I feel like I would be doing nobody a service if I lied about it. I have no musical ability whatsoever. Well, as a music educator, I would yeah. have to disagree with you. This is community singing. Everybody's welcome to do it. Why, why don't you? Take us through this. If you look at the music, all the notes have a different shape. And you see uh, a triangle shape, you say fa. The oval is sol. OK. The square is la, and the diamond shape is mi. Fa, sol, la. Fa, sol, la, mi, fa. Fa, <laughs> fa, la, la, so, so, fa. Fa, la, so, la, fa. Good. You can see this is like real nerves. This is not, I'm not joking around here. This is like, I'm like, I feel like I'm getting super red right now. Have fun. Okay, I am going to try my best. Me being the newbie here, having never really sang publicly ever in my entire life. Don't be scared. I am actually very terrified. To be honest with you, there's a lot of things that I've done on this show, and this is the one that is pushing my comfort zone the furthest. Everybody's welcome to sing and to practice. Cut me loose. To conquer my fear of public singing, I've signed up with a local choir to sing from the Sacred Harp Songbook. I've already learned their special technique of shape note singing. Good, good, good. And I'm almost ready to perform an actual hymn. Fa, la, so, la, fa. Fa, la, so, fa. Fa, la, so, so, so. Fa, so, la, so, la, la, so, la, la, so, la, fa, la, so, fa. The warm-up is over, and I've got my fa sol la's down. It's time to sing a real Sacred Harp hymn, complete with lyrics. 277. In the arms of my dear Savior, oh, there are 10,000 charms. I will rise and go to Jesus. What keeps you coming back? I'm not really a singer in the rest of my life, so it's really nice to have a weekly outlet all these voices coming together and and really being part of one harmony is the special thing, I think. And turn each I think that the singing really unites
unites a community. Some people come who, who've been told they should never sing, and, and they don't necessarily think that they, they sing well, and they sing, and they, they sound fantastic. Oh, there are 10,000 A lot of these songs, uh, even though they're very heavily religious, they're still songs about individuals. It, there's, like, songs of doubt and, like, songs of questioning, so I think people relate to the, the lyrics on a really personal level. There's also no denying the poetry that's in the lyrics um, and the power that the music brings to them. And to feel that power can't help but have an effect on you. Glory, hallelujah. Sounds great. <clears throat> yes, sir. <laughs> This is pretty impressive. Congratulations. This is great. I don't know if you can tell right now just looking at me, but I'm kind of flushed, and I can feel like the endorphins are sort of rushing through my body. Plus, I feel like I've given my abs a serious workout here because you're really belting that stuff out. It's a pretty amazing feeling, I got to say. Um, this has been my first Sacred Harp, and uh, there's some pretty cool people in there, and I guarantee you this, it's not going to be my last. <laughs>